So I'm about to head to the gym. I am going to be doing an upper body and ab workout. I've been really in my grind. I've been working out Monday through Friday. I've really got that inspo to go again. Like I actually am enjoying going to the gym. I think after that 30 day workout challenge that I did for myself really kind of just pushed me over that hump of getting in ruts and always failing on the second week. Once I've overcome that and held myself accountable, I am now fully like appreciating the gym again, which is great. Before we head to the gym though, I do want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Wild Deodorant. You can go wild with your deodorant and not sweat or feel gross and be eco-friendly. It's an eco-friendly, all natural deodorant. I really, really, really like how all natural deodorants are starting to get better. It was really hard to find a good all natural deodorant. You know it's good for your body, you know it's good for the environment, but sometimes they aren't the best quality. And I can assure you that the Wild Deodorant is definitely a really really good natural deodorant because it just glides on a lot of natural deodorants to me are not as like blendable if that makes sense this one is really blendable the smells are there they're amazing this one is really special because it's made for sensitive skin so a lot of natural deodorants are made with baking soda which can irritate your skin and you guys know I have really freaking sensitive skin this one's made with magnesium which is really really great for people like me who have sensitive skin another aspect to it that makes it eco-friendly is that it is reusable so Basically, you get these little packages in the mail of the little inserts. You just change the insert when you're done with the deodorant. You don't have to buy a whole nother package for your deodorant. This one came with a customizable little case. It's so cute. It says Renee on it. It's a leopard print. So basically what you do is you twist the lower portion all the way to the left, pop out the bottom, and you're gonna put the insert into the bottom, not the top. And you're gonna kind of like move around the deodorant before you pop it in. You're gonna close the case back and turn it to the right and it will just pop up and you use it and it smells so great. It's blendable. It's a really good eco-friendly all-natural deodorant. They're giving you guys 25% off if you use the promo code Renee. I will leave all their information linked in the description box for you guys if you want to shop around. So now I'm going to head to the gym. Let's get that upper body going. Let's build the muscle. My arm needs some, needs some work. I did get a little Sephora pack. I mean, I didn't get it. I bought it. I was just in need of some new brushes. And you know when you go on Sephora and you're just like, oh, I just need one thing. It's like Target. You end up leaving with like way more than you thought that you needed. <laughs> I needed new brushes. I haven't bought new brushes in a hot minute. Like I can't even tell you guys the last time I bought brushes. You can only clean them so many times. So this is the Sephora 80 bronzer brush. I just love the feeling of new brushes. I do a lot of research. So this is like one of the highest rated ones. Oh my lord. This is what it looks like. Super duper soft. I also got a new eyebrow brush. I've been using my eyebrow brush since high school. It's like one of those brushes where you try to clean it. No matter how many times you like rinse it, it's just constantly pouring color. Um, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B. It's just an angled eyebrow brush and it has a little spoolie here, which is nice. And then I went over to Amazon. Brushes are freaking expensive. I didn't realize how freaking expensive they were. So I'm like, all the ones that I wanted to invest in, great. But there were some really, really highly rated ones for other things that I wanted. So the powder brush is the Real Techniques Powder Face Brush. Um, I'll link all this stuff down below. Oof, just as soft as the expensive Sephora one. So we got the bronzing, powder, angled eyebrow brush, and then I saw like a video tutorial for some eye makeup where the girl took eyeshadow and made like kind of an eyeliner, which I actually do. I just use my eyebrow brush and then I'll like squeeze it like this, but the line wasn't as accurate. So um, I found this one, this is just a I am not even gonna try to pronounce this, but this is an Amazon brush as well, so it's not expensive. Just to do my little wing. This is like a longer looking kind of angled brush. Those are the brushes I wanted to invest in. I had literally so many brushes, probably a hundreds. <laughs> I mean, it felt like it. Now I've just condensed everything to just these brushes. I again saw this on 
someone's makeup tutorial video. I don't know how I haven't discovered this until now. A makeup like palette thing. You know how artists use like palettes? I always put my foundation here and then it just leaves a, this big foundation like circle. It's not cute. But it comes with this, which I'm not sure what this is for. So I guess this is to like mix it. I don't know about that. I really like the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but it's like perfect for everyday use because I don't like wearing foundation every day. And then the Bare Minerals foundation, the powder is like a little bit too light. They only had this color in the small one and this is the light. And then this one is light medium. So I have decided probably a year or two ago that I don't like tan in the sun anymore because dark spots and I'm getting older and I need to protect my skin. So I just, I'm gonna go with self tanner, but the more that I don't go in the sun, I can notice my skin getting lighter and lighter and lighter. So all my foundations are kind of like slowly but surely not matching my skin tone. So honestly, I just needed a new skin tone. Oh, I got another brush. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Brush. The reviews are like insane for this one because it says that it just like glides on and it just makes your pores look so invisible. That's gonna be nice. Excuse the sirens. And then I got some more powder for my eyebrows. I just got this eyebrow powder. And then I got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I used to have this. Again, it came in like a smaller one. I think all makeup should be this size because I feel like we keep and hold on to makeup for so long and it's so expensive. And then I've never ever used a setting spray in my life, but I keep seeing people use it. And this one is like number one. It's like the Urban Decay something, something, something all-nighter pop this on let's see the after look all right guys i am done and wow i'm loving it i was like in a makeup song for the longest time and i think i just needed to change and tweak a little bit which i just did um and first impressions i love this thing like i just realized too like if my foundation didn't match my skin i could like blend together two foundations and stuff so this is gonna come in handy a lot. Also, the It Cosmetics CC Cream, you just can't go wrong with it. The minute I put it on, it just like made my face glow. You honestly don't even need anything else but this. It has SPF in it and everything, so that's pretty dope. I don't know why I strayed away from that. Also, this angled brush to do the little wing here. I am not like a makeup artist at all. I cannot draw a straight line to save my freaking life. So I've never been like a winged eyeliner person. This just got plenty of the like eyeshadow on the brush. All I needed to do was like one line and just kind of like blend it in. It was awesome. I don't know why I've been using the same freaking eyeshadow brush for the longest time because the line was awful. This was just so quick and precise. The Hourglass Foundation Brush. Oh my god, it just seamlessly like went on my skin. I feel like I have just like... I don't even know how to explain it. This was a game changer. I tapped on the Yee foundation with the beauty blender like this, and then I blended it with this. And this just like, oh my god, I didn't even need to do anything. I was just like, felt like a makeup artist. And then the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Again, I don't know why I strayed from it. I think I just used it for too long, but wow. It just, I'm a very oily person and it takes away the oil on your face without getting rid of the glow. Like I still feel like I'm like super shiny right now. I really liked it. And then I didn't mention this, but I've been using this for a while now. These are the watermelon dew drops. They make your highlighter kind of pop because it gives you that almost like wet look. So I put on highlighter like on my cheekbones, a little bit underneath my eyebrow. A little bit on my nose and a little bit on the tip of my lip and right before i'm about to film i just pop this like very few little like dots on my like wherever i put my highlighter and it just makes it pop that much more it kind of gives you like i said that like watery like dewy look i'm sitting here editing and i forgot to mention also the bronzer brush was like impeccable that brush made me feel bronze but without any lines like it's really actually impossible for me to not see a line typically on my forehead area and it did a really good job at blending like you can't tell any lines so that's the other one that i forgot to mention i knew i was forgetting one of them so i'll pop all this stuff down below i'm loving it i feel good what do you guys think i can't stop staring at myself so if you guys are like loyal subscribers comment down below how long i've had this plant i have had this plant 
like since Florida days. He traveled in a pod all the way to New York. He was in there for like a month with no food or water and he somehow survived it. I was just so stubborn about having him here with me, but he is like kind of slowly but surely dying. His roots are getting too big for the pot um, that I have him in, so I had to buy a new one. This is gonna be so messy. I don't want him to die, guys. I bought this. This is also from Amazon. It's super cute. It's like a standing potter. I think both of them will fit in here. So that's the project for today. So I also bought some new soil. Wish me luck. Fill this halfway the soil. This to here without like killing him. Cause this is a circle one. Damn it, this is gonna be tough. Oh my god, you guys, he is rooted. Yeah, you guys, there's like no saving him. Look at these roots. Oh my god, like it won't even come out. I don't even know how I'm gonna save my potter. So that was like a total fail. Um, it is completely dead. The roots here won't even come out of the potter. Look at all the roots. Like, it's just, it's done. It's totally done. So I gotta throw away the planter too. on to him for so long guys literally so freaking long and I just that kind of breaks my heart um but now we have this one we don't have a plant just yet but we'll get one you guys I just got this emergency alert I don't know about you guys but like whenever that freaking alarm goes off it tear I haven't had one since I moved here and being in like a big city, I have like the worst anxiety, guys. Oh my god. My heart is like beating out of my chest. Like, you know when you like get so nervous, you can feel your whole body like pulsing? <sighs> I read one time that like anxiety is just the lack of exhaling. <sighs> Whenever I feel like super anxious like that, like I just literally had an anxiety attack. It sounds extreme, but I just like think worst case scenario and I don't I don't think I've I don't know, it's gotten worse since living here. I'm like shaky. <sighs> Exhale. Because with anxiety, you're like, and you like hold your breath and it's, you don't exhale. So that causes like more panic. But oh my God, that fucking terrified me. I just got this. I thought for sure, like I, like I said, I just go to worst case scenario. I'm like in the middle of the city. Noah's at work right now. So it like freaked me out. I was like, oh my God. But it says something about like a power outage or something like that conserve energy what's the weather it's been so hot here lately oh my god 100 oh it's supposed to rain later tonight though so oh my god that scared me i'm just like sitting here in like a peaceful little state and it's like Arr! i'm like oh my god where's it coming from it sounds like it's coming from like the building okay i'm being dramatic <laughs> because i'm back in the gym um i treated myself to a gymshark shopping spree um i also got some other goodies i got these converse that i see a lot of people wearing in the gym i've actually never owned a pair of converse um they're just these they're really cute but i accidentally got two pairs and you know it's so annoying i wanted to get two different sizes to see which one I wanted, but I literally got a tape measure, measured my foot, and I was like, I don't need two. I don't feel like dealing with the return process. And I accidentally put two in my shopping cart, so there's that. And then I got these Adidas crew socks. These are from Amazon. They're the longer ones with these like cute little gray stripes, and it says Adidas on them. And then as for the Gymshark haul, this is their new crew neck. It's just like this white long sleeve. I don't know why I'm getting long sleeve in the middle of summer. I just thought it would be cute for it lounging around the house. This is the Vital Seamless Long Sleeve Crop Top. I actually have this in black already and I really like it. And I think I have the shorter version. This is like the longer one, which again, I really like. This is the Essential Racer Back. And then I got this in a camo print. I thought this was a really cute color. Um, this basic little bra that says Gymshark here. This is called the Flex Sports Bra. And then everyone and their mother talks about this one. So I was like, I'm gonna get it. This is called the Rouged Training Bra. These are the Gymshark 
Pulse mid-rise shorts. Now I got size medium because I wanted them to be longer, but I think they're like bigger. So hopefully they're not too big. I also got these. These are the Gymshark Flex shorts. They're in like a highlighter green, like yellowish color. This is called the training shorts. Just got the basic gray. These are really freaking soft. And then I got some longer leggings. So I got this one. This is the seamless fit mid-rise leggings. And again, it just says Gymshark here. And then I got, I think I got two pairs of those. Yeah, this one is the Gymshark Vital Seamless Leggings in light gray, because <laughs> I went overboard. And then the high-waisted leggings in yellow marl. I think these are cute. So let me try these on real quick. I do have makeup on. And I hate, super cute. I think this will be cute for just, like I said, lounging around the house or something. I love the oversized bit of it. Um, yeah, this is a new piece. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm scared I'm gonna get my makeup on it. Okay, what size did I get? This is a small too, so it's pretty big. I thought I would be able to fit in a medium. I don't, it runs really big. So these are gonna have to be returned. And I might even just, I don't know, we'll see. I think I wanna get a small. Um, But this top is really cute as well. I feel like Gymshark just makes you look good. Hold you in in all the right places. I'm bummed about these shorts, guys. Look. They're pretty open. These ones are so comfortable. This one's cute. I like, I like. Okay. These are so cute. I love the color of these. Here are the other ones. Love these. I love that this has like a little Gymshark logo here. These are the ones I was most excited about because they're so out of my comfort zone and i love them with the, like maybe a black top all right so this is the infamous training bra i really like it it really kind of like holds you into place and it has like a racer back and then these are the green like highlighter i say green they're more kind of like a yellow but they definitely have like a green tint these are the shorts these ones do fit well with the medium i guess it's just these ones that have the like bigger sizes all right so these shorts are actually too big as well and then I don't have a bra on, but um, this is the other top. This is one of my favorite tops that they have. Oof. Okay, so I will link all this stuff down below. Um, I got to return these shorts, the other shorts, and a pair of the Converse. So I'm going to go do that. Um, and then, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys so much. See you soon. Bye.